Magazine, Detroit, baby, we out here. You see what's going on, we activated, we ain't playing no games. Yeah, we're gonna go on and jump right into it, man. We got paid Shaq, man, for the second time on the platform. Um, man, you you still working, brother, man? Like, like I, I see this thing don't stop for you. Oh no, no, I mean, you know they ain't gonna stop, bro. You gotta keep going. No matter what circumstance a person in, so I'm just I'm stay active, bro. For sure, for sure. And and this time, I know last time that we chopped it up, um, you had the uh, actually it was like three parts, but. You was um I think you was introducing the part uh initially introducing um the the record with Babyface Ray but it wasn't a visual to it um but this time man you back with a visual to it if you can bro just talk a little bit about it and talk a little bit about the inspiration behind the visual oh yeah so all right so babe so all right back so the visuals man when it comes to the visuals it's like like base I want to create something that. That, that made sense to my circumstance, you know what I'm saying? So I got baby face Ray coming on, in on a helicopter, you know what I'm saying, throwing a rope down, pulling me off the yard, you know what I'm saying? Basically, like, I'm about to have a day out, you know what I'm saying? So, so. you got that going on. Then you also, you know what I'm saying, so certain lyrics in the song, I got to reflect, like, one of the parts that say, uh, they try to, they try to shut the door on me, I knock the house down. Like, in that, in that part, I, we, we in farms, so like, we, we struggle with the wings. They face right behind me. We go up in the air and smash the house. You know what I'm saying? When they say, you know what I'm saying? On that part, you feel me? So sure. it's stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Going to the White House, throwing money. You know what I'm saying? Just having a day, a day out and doing my thing. You know how that go. And just for the people to know specifically, you know what I mean? The record, bro. Tell the people the name of the record. And real quick, you could talk about the other versions that you have of the record. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, so it's my favorite proverbs, man. If anybody been paying attention to me, you know, I've been pushing this for a few months, man, doing three different versions. So the first version I had Lee Cussle, the second version I had Courtney Bill, and the third version I had Babyface Ray. You know, we you know shoot a real video from here. I saw a real video from here, the first two versions. And we did our thing in there, man. Had my son in there, you know what I'm saying? I had the Bentley in there. You know what I'm saying? A long sleeve cage. So, you know, he was cutting up on our thing. He got footage in there for me, for me in here. So, you know what I'm saying? I put that together. That was a stream. And then, you know, we went with Babyface Ray. So, you know, the movement is still going. No doubt, no doubt. And speaking of the movement, man, um, I actually had um uh Courtney Bill little brother in here the other uh the other day or whatever. And um man, y'all got a lot of talent coming out of Joy Road, specifically Joy Road and why I mean Joy Road and uh X and Nine, um Joy Road and Evergreen, like just all up in that in that space, man. Um if you can, bro, just talk a little bit about what you see and what you feel coming from, you know, the people that's representing and putting on for, for Joy Road. Yeah, so that's how I look at it, man. Like, it's, it's, it's a generational thing, you know. Like, when I was young, you know what I'm saying, you had people come before me, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, just keeping those ties strong, man, and continuing to pull each other up, you feel me, sticking together, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got some good talent from there. It's a lot of time to people from there, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's about strength, bro. Stand together, you know what I'm saying? Do everything, you know what I'm saying? Building that foundation to the point where we can take it farther. Because, you know, growing up, bro, we ain't really had no, you know what I'm saying, resources or nobody helping us out when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, the music, you know what I'm saying? So now you got me, Courtney Bell, you know what I'm saying, other artists that's from, that's from our hood, you know what I'm saying? They got resources now so we can pull each other up and help each other, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and the crazy thing about it is, like, you know, like we saw, like, T Grizzly or whatever, he was shooting a video, and, um, man, he bringing the Maybachs to the hood, you feel me, to the Coney Island. Um, like, he 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 fooling. He's showing, you know, the hood. Like, he he's showing it. But from your perspective, like, what are some of the specific things that can be done to unify that section in particular? I think, man, some real stuff, bro. I think... I think it takes for it takes for us to put our put our differences aside, man. People who, you know, what I'm saying, been knowing each other for a long time, bro. It's, it's, it's about coming together, you know, what I'm saying. And the more the more we come together, the more stronger we gonna be, bro. You know, what I'm saying, you know, a lot of stuff be going on in the circles, and it, it, it come down to like lack of communication. You know, what I'm saying. I feel like if the communication there, bro, we all sticking together. We, you know, what I'm saying, creating those foundations and helping out the neighborhood. And, you know what I'm saying? Soon, because you know we gotta lead by example, bro. You know what I'm saying? Kids watching this, bro. They know who we is, and etc. You know what I'm saying? So, 
No, he, he definitely did his thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Bringing the foreigners to the hood. You know what I'm saying? Motivating everybody. You know what I'm saying? Giving out, you know what I'm saying? Food to the kids and to the fans, man. That was important. Because you, cause what you're doing is you're showing them that, okay, listen, I came from these same type of areas, the same type of conditions and circumstances. And look where I got to. You know what I'm saying? He, he coming back. So that's important, bro. But I really think the most important thing, bro, is that communication, bro. You know what I'm saying? We only are as strong as our weakest link. You know what I'm saying? So... If that communication ain't there, then, you know what I'm saying, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hinder everything, but I think that's where it start. No doubt, no doubt. How important is, like, um, like having leadership um, overall in Detroit? Like, we see certain groups like New Era Detroit um, doing their thing in the city, man, but it's not like a whole lot of leadership, you feel me, to, like, unify the city as a whole, um, and especially when you got people that's getting money. You know, you can't really tell – people what to do when they made a lane for they for they self and they get money uh how important is leadership uh from from you know uh non-profit organizations street organizations just in general how important is leadership to you man leadership is vital bro you know what I'm saying? that's the only thing that's gonna keep this generation alive you know what i'm saying leadership like leadership prevent a lot of things man you know what i'm saying like Everybody you listen to somebody like even though like say for example, you might know somebody that got influence, you know what I'm saying, with you than anybody else, but he might not have influence in somebody else's circle. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about the communication. Like I said, it, it all come back down to that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody sticking together and et cetera. But the leadership gonna be important, man. People need to step up to the plate, you know what I'm saying, the ones who in that in that position of power. But not everybody know what to do with that power, you know what I'm saying? But that's where it starts, bro. You know what I'm saying? Started that for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. In terms of in terms of in there, man, like what's the climate? If you can, like what location you at? Oh man, Ken Ross. You at Ken Ross, man. You know Ken Ross a a, a big ass prison <laughs> with a lot of people there. Um Yeah, for sure. In terms of the climate, man, how's the climate at at, at Ken Ross? Oh shit! It's all want to snow this motherfucker. <laughs> see, uh, it's it's cold. You know what I'm saying? It's cold as hell up here, man. It's a whole bunch of snow on the ground, man. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's basically what it is up here right now. <laughs> what about energy wise? Oh, energy wise, energy wise, man. Uh, man, see, I, I move, bro. I really think of myself for real. You know what I'm saying? No. In that, in that aspect, bro, but energy-wise, it's straight, bro. It ain't, it ain't, it's laid back. It's like it's an open environment. You you like a whole bunch of bunks, you know what I'm saying? So you're not really in sales. So you you able to move around and do what you want to do. Like it's uncontrolled movement, you know what I'm saying? So like you ain't got to always be in somebody's face. You can slide to the backyard, you know what I'm saying, to the front yard, hop on the phone, the little thing. You really can maneuver around it. So I think that, that's where it come in that far as it comes to energy, you know? From the last time that we talked, um obviously um you know you about to get ready to drop this visual um uh, for mafia proverbs uh babyface ray uh feature on it um but like what what's some of the other things man the ideas that you've uh came up with and that you uh plan on putting in motion since the last time we talked oh yeah so um and i actually been working on a lot of few things man different things i really certain parts i can't speak on right now but I do got some, you know what I'm saying, that I'm working on. I'm about to really put out the, I'm going to remember the auntie house. I had an auntie house situation uh, a few months ago, and uh, I did it from on the yard. So I'm actually about to drop that that actual song um, in a couple months, you know what I'm saying? So that's next. And I got a lot of, man, I don't want to stay tuned, bro. It's about to go, it's about to go up, bro. I ain't going to lie, I'm about to come back hard, come back stronger, man, you know what I'm saying? So I just need everybody to stay in tune so they can see how big it's about to really get, because it's going down for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure, man. Yeah, let's right. jump right into the uh the prison reform. Um, we know that um you know the streets is the streets, and but we also know that you know a, a part of the reason why a lot of people um get incarcerated, we know it's Black History Month too. So we know that it's um you know a lot of this stuff is planned. So from a prison reform standpoint, like what are some of the essential things that can be like put in place to kind of help? people coming home from prison to make sure that they don't go back and also stop the youngest from making their way in prison. All right. So, man, first thing first, man, it's, a, it's, a, it's about like your, your family support. You know what I'm saying? Like, it start with our family. So, like, if, if anybody listening, they got family that's locked up, man, and 
you're going through situations where y'all not communicating like y'all used to, or, you know what I'm saying, the prison kind of divided y'all, you know what I'm saying, due to the circumstances. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to understand I got this little that person unconditional because that person is going through something that's that's not normal. The circumstances is not normal, you know what I'm saying? And it caused strain on families and relationships and bonds and stuff. You feel me? So that's key right there, man. You gotta love your person that's locked up in here unconditional, man, and just be there for them and support them. Even if you don't understand, you still gotta hold a hand basically in so many words because they're going through so many different situations. So that's first, man. Family support when they come home is being able to be there and offer the help you can the best way you can. So that's first. And uh, second, man, I think in the community it's about, like, you know what I'm saying, helping when it comes to creating jobs and, you know what I'm saying, or helping that person, giving that person resources. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. the small stuff right there that make a big difference, bro, for real. For sure, for sure. Um, we was actually just sitting here talking about, like, it's funny that you said uh, building an empire. Um, we was kind of just talking about leveling up and just going to the next level and just building, you know, like a structure or whatever. Um, in terms of, you know, from your perspective, when you think about an empire, what's the first word that come to your mind? Or you ain't even got to limit it to a word. Just what's the first things that come to your mind when you think of an empire? Man, when I think of an empire, bro, I think I think of family. You know what I'm saying? I think of family when I think of an empire. You know what I'm saying? Because... One thing about an empire, man, if you ain't got that family vibe, you know what I'm saying, that family type of love within that empire, then your foundation is weak. So that's the first thing I think about when I think of an empire. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, back in the day, you know what I'm saying, they say that we was kings and queens over there from our homeland. So it's like it's, all, it's already in our bloodstream to build that village. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to that standpoint, bro, I feel like, been over here, man, it's about rebuilding, bro, you know what I'm saying, building that foundation, creating that generational wealth, you know what I'm saying, uh, helping people become leaders, you know what I'm saying, pulling people up, help build, build their confidence, you know what I'm saying, anything in a circle, so that's what I think about when I think of empire, bro, creating generational wealth, generational wealth, you know what I'm saying, et cetera. Most definitely. When you said confidence, that's something that stood out to me. Um and this, like, and this generation that we live in now, and I can attest to it, man, I remember a point in time where um, you know, like my OG used to kind of like, I, like when it was time to go pay for certain things at the store. Right. Um, yeah. I ain't really want to talk to the, to the, you know, to the cashier or, you know what I mean? This was young, of course, you feel me. Um, but it's a lot of young men out there and a lot of young women that deal with like insecurities and like, uh, like being socially awkward. Um, what's some of the things that you feel like can, um, Make a person confident, you feel me, in, in their expression. Make a person walk in them rooms with their head with their head held high and be able to, you know what I mean, negotiate, be able to work out deals, be able to converse with a person from the streets and converse with the president of the United States if they if they wanted to. Well each with each with each victory man build confidence. So as a person achieve small success, man. It automatically contribute to that person personality and confidence and feel more stronger, man. So it start it starts small, right? It starts small and also start in the household. You know what I'm saying? So if it's my mom, say for example, it's my big brother or somebody's mama, you know what I'm saying, encourage them, giving them encouragement, you know what I'm saying, about the success, you know what I'm saying, helping them believe in themselves, like when it comes to whatever it is they want to believe in or achieve in their life, bro, this this that support system. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Like education is number one. Education is the key. So if you want to build your confidence, that's that's number one. Help help from that part. Your your growing, your growth, the education is where it started for sure. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna build your confidence to walk in these rooms with these people and negotiate or you know what I'm saying, have a certain type of conversation to hold your own, man. Education is number one. No doubt. Now just to shift gears a little bit, man, and talking about like the women. So it's a lot of it's a lot of women, you feel me, in the in the hip hop. Uh, industry right now and you know they taking over you know what i mean you got your sexy reds you got your lottos you got um nikki coming back you know different things like that um what's your perspective on like um just the way that they the way that they rapping like do you feel like if if male artists get to rap about drugs guns etc do you feel like Shouldn't nobody have anything to say in terms of women, 
you know what I mean, like speaking like hypersexual in their music? I don't think it's gonna say it's reality, man. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you want your music to be authentic as possible. You know what I'm saying? Because you're connecting with the people. So these female artists, you know what I'm saying, creating music that they that they love or that's true to themselves. Damn, how can you be mad at somebody for being they self? They being they self. You know what I'm saying? You're going to accept it or you're not. That is what it is. But on terms of how the females killing it right now, I ain't gonna lie. I just saw uh, I saw that video with uh, Lotto the other day for the first time, man. Uh, she had re she had remixed that Super Gremlin. Yeah. Well, she had remixed. She, she covered it. Yeah. That Super Gremlin with Kodak Black. I think that's what it's called. And see, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was watching it. I was watching it. I said, oh, yeah, she, she doing her thing, bro. Like, she cutting up, you feel me? And, and, and like, she was winning that much. So, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm feeling the females right now. He cutting up right now, man. I also saw the one with, uh, with Cass Dial, man. Uh, which one was that? I saw the one with her and Peasy. And oh, then yeah, I saw the yeah. one with her, uh, Tay B. And I ain't, she, she going it down for sure, man. I, I like what she got going on, too, bro. So, they doing her thing. No, for sure, for sure. Definitely is. Uh, Cash Dial definitely pressing. Uh, she just dropped some new, some new music too. Um, going crazy, bro. The females got it right now. You feel me? You got it. Yeah. Got to salute them. Hey, cause they I... get into that bag, bro. They not worried about all the, the the hype, bro. They get into that bag, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. I watch Cash Doll. I watch Cash Doll clam so crazy, bro. Like from stripping, bro, to where she at now, bro. Salute, it's hundred percent salute. Like she did that. So you say you sure. remember? You remember like when you was out? You remember actually seeing Cash Doll and watching her move and, and make her motion? Yeah. See, okay. When I was out there, you know, Cash Doll was a stripper. She wasn't even rapping yet. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't even rapping yet, but you was still her name. You know what I'm saying? So it was like anything she was doing, she knew how to move. Like she was putting herself in them positions in them circles and networking crazy. And you know what I'm saying? Sure. Next thing I know, they talk about she on the radio. You know what I'm saying? Cut up. You feel me? So like, oh, yeah, she rapping now. But it's just little things like that, bro. Just know how to evolve. You know what I'm saying? And keep growing and keep putting your feet on motherfuckers. Man. No doubt. No doubt. When you, um, in terms of your playlist, y'all, yo, cause y'all got like MP3 players and stuff in there, right? Where you can download yeah, yeah. and stuff. Like who, who from the city, man? Like who, who you got the most of on your playlist? Like who you listening to heavy? Like that's like your number one artist from the city that you really listening to, um, in there. Uh, I'm about to go to my uh, it's, it's my playlist right now. You <laughs> got uh, okay. You got Bay Money featuring Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with that nigga right now. He cutting up. So. Uh, <clears throat> you got the Pyrex by, by Bay Money. Uh, you got who else? I got some, uh, I got some Payroll on here. I got some, uh, some Bay Face Ray on here. I got some Vezo on here. I got everybody on here, bro. I support everybody from the city, bro. I ain't gonna lie. For sure. Everybody that's rapping, bro. I'm buying, I'm buying that shit. But it's, it seemed like though, it seemed like you kind of like, but you listening to like the, 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 the more smooth. And that ain't to say that, you know, other Detroit rappers ain't smooth, but everybody got their lane. You get what I'm saying? Right. It seemed like you right. kind of more off into that vibe. Like when you mentioned Pay, Babyface Ray, Baby Money, like, is that the type of music that you prefer? Like if you was to have a preference with, with music, is that like what you go to as opposed to like the, the, the drill yeah. shit? Yeah, for sure, bro. You gotta understand because that's the stage I'm in my life. Like, I've been through that drill shit already. <laughs> like, that, we been did that. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like the stage I'm in my life, nigga, it's all about getting to that bag, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's about evolving in that area. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, of course, nigga, still get on the nigga, for sure. Don't get it twisted. But it's like, okay, I ain't looking for no problems. I ain't running from nothing either. But let's get to this money, though. You see, let's get rich. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's the stage I'm in in life. You know what I'm saying? That's the most of them. You know what I'm saying? Rappers we talking about, you feel me? So I can vibe with that for sure. Most definitely. If you was to give some advice to, you know, somebody in terms of stacking money or just making money, um, like what'd it be like some of the some of the main things that you would that you would tell a person in order to get ahead financially? Focus on your assets. You know what I'm saying? It's about it's about investing your money in your assets and continue to create your income, man. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you okay, if you making some money and then you spend it in the same day, then you hustling backwards. You feel me? Mm. You know what I'm saying? But let's say, for example, if you take that same bread, you know what I'm saying, that you got a whatever little, you know what I'm saying, cheese you came across, little L, whatever the case might be, you take that money, bro, and you invest that into a crib or something. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's real estate. Now you're creating passive income. 
For sure. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so passive income for people who might not know what passive income is, that's, that's money that you make in your sleep. You know what I'm saying? That you ain't got to go there physically to be there to make your bread, bread working for you. You know what I'm saying? So, that's some advice, bro. Focus on your assets, man. Focus on creating creating some income. You know what I'm saying? Let's say, let's say for example, right? So, every deal that you got, buy access for it. So your asset is paying off all your bills. So it free up your time because you buy your time back now. So now you got more time to go, you know what I'm saying, do this or do that because you freeze your time up by investing the assets that's taking care of your, your, your daily expenses. You feel for me? Sure, for sure, for sure. Hey, it, was just, it, was just one, it was just one thing I was, uh, I was reading one day, bro. And it said that, that the rich, the rich be planning out their life years ahead, you feel me? They say your money is based on, okay, if you was to go broke right now, like, I mean to say broke, but if you was to get, like, start working, start bringing in any type of income, how long can you live without working a job or doing anything to create income? That's how the rich go by it, you feel me? So let's say, for example, if you been grinding, you know what I'm saying, and anything fail today, if you got 10 years, you got 10, 10 years worth of income for your, your monthly and daily expenses, that's how they measure wealth, bro. You feel me? Facts, facts, facts. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Facts, facts, man. Good advice. Um, do you do you pay attention to politics, like world politics? Uh, somewhat, somewhat. What you, you see, thinking about? When you see, like, you know, like a lot of people right now in the phase where, um. You know, black people kind of like, man, like we want Donald Trump back in office because the, that paper was floating around around the time he was <laughs> around the time he was the president. Um, what's your perspective on that? Do you feel like that that's a fair assessment? Um, do you feel like like just what's your perspective on on the presidency election and should a person even vote for the president? Should a person just vote locally? You know what I mean? Like, what's your perspective on that? Hey. Hey, it was crazy though, right? Because I was just talking about Trump the other day. You know what I'm saying? You have one minute remaining. Hey, I was saying like, that nigga Trump, he, that nigga fuck with the rappers and shit. Cause, <laughs> cause he be partying, he be giving niggas partners about helping niggas out of prison and shit. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? I pay attention to that. You know what I'm saying? A lot. But when I say, when it comes to it's, it's different factors, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got, you know what I'm saying? Can this person actually lead a country that's from different walks of life? And I'm just like limited to my point of view because I'm in prison. You know what I'm saying? But is he, is he the best for everybody? You know what I'm saying? So, in those terms, man, I kind of like, I just pay attention, but not too, too much to the point where, you know what I'm saying? I'm overindulging, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But I will say that about Trump, but I feel like, uh, I feel like people definitely should vote, you know what I'm saying, locally for sure, because in different cities and different states, people got different perspectives. Most definitely, most definitely. You know, you know I ain't gonna lie, but you know, I, my brain, my brain work, but me and my cousin, man, you know what I'm saying, like, I come with the ideas to her, ask what she think about it, man, she put her two cents in, like, he put this and put that, you know, so we just put our brains together and just working together, bro, you know what I'm saying, and it's not, like, it's having a full vision of what you want to, what your project to turn out as, man. I think that's vital for sure. So that's what it is. For sure, for sure. And if you can, man, if you could give her a shout out too, so the people can, you feel me, just get a breast to, you know, who she is and, and what she's doing for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my cousin, old man, Kay, man. She, 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 everything, bro. She support me hundred percent, bro. Stand behind me, keep my vision, everything. She the one behind the scenes, make sure everything get done, man. Putting that footwork in for big cool. So, man, shout out to her, man. You know what I'm saying? She, she going to school right now to be a movie director, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's going down. She might be shooting y'all movies in the future. You know what I'm saying? So, you all got some hot shit y'all watching. In the future, I know she did it for sure. Straight up. And it's funny that you say that too, man, because I like at some point in time I was thinking to myself, like, shit, she gonna have to sit in this chair and, and, and go ahead and just represent <laughs> one time. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, hell yeah. So so real quick, man, um, in terms of the release date for the uh the release date for the um video with um you and Babyface Ray, Mafia Proverbs, if you can, bro, let them know the release date and when you gonna drop it. Oh, yeah, man. So the release date gonna be February 28th, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be February 28th, man. Tune in, man. I can follow me on Instagram at KSAC underscore Zoyro, man. So that's P A R D S H A underscore J O Y R D. It's S H A 
And I fucked up like a motherfucker. It's P A I D S H A Q underscore J O I R D. You know what I'm saying? On the gram. So I can follow me on the gram, man. Y'all can stay in tune with what I got going on, man. I'm dropping video February 28th, man. It's going down. For sure, for sure. And that's going to be on YouTube as well. Yeah, it's going to be on YouTube as well, y'all. For sure, for sure. So y'all make sure y'all tap in, man. The audio is out right now. Uh, if, if I ain't mistaken, the audio is out right now, right? Yeah, this is, this is the audio out right now. The song out right now. And it's snippy. It's snippy on my page. I can go check it out. Y'all want to get a preview out of get a concept of how the video going to be. Y'all can go on my page and check it out, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's about to be lit, for sure. And we're going to go on and throw the snippet up on our page, too, just so the people can tap in and, you know what I mean, get a little sneak peek and see what's going on, bro. For sure. I appreciate it, my baby. No doubt, no doubt, man. Pay Shaq, man. Y'all tap in, man. New visual coming out, man. Mafia Proverbs featuring Babyface Ray. We got an opportunity to get a sneak peek of the visual. I'm telling y'all, it's hard as hell. Very creative. So y'all make sure y'all tap in, man. It's on the flow. Hey, what, what was your favorite part on there? What was your favorite part? I ain't going to lie to you, man. I, I really just enjoyed the whole thing. I didn't necessarily look at it from a like a favorite part perspective i kind of just looked at it as like a whole like a whole little piece you get what i'm saying yeah yeah i, I looked at it in its totality but i seen i seen y'all fooling in the whips you feel me i seen y'all on top of the white house it looked like you feel me like y'all was fooling that's for sure. So it's definitely on, man. You keep your head up, bro. You feel me? Like they, like he said, February 28th, Mafia Proverbs, visual featuring Babyface Ray. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. The single is out right now on all platforms. Tap in, man. It's on the floor. For sure.